Hey everyone, just a short video this week. Again, something different. You can see on screen at the moment, I'm showing you some models that were made. These were made by my sister, who's a cake decorator. So these are basically cake toppers. They're made out of modeling paste and edible ingredients. This is what my sister specializes in. As you can see, they are really good. And she's made two different color ones and she's made more. She's made different dinosaurs and things like that. I will put links to her creations and social media in the links below. But I also wanted to just show my illustration of this. So the illustration was based on the turquoise color one. And these are, of course, cutesy type triceratops. What you're watching on screen now is me drawing this. It is a little bit light in color to see, which I realize is not ideal, but it does get a little bit darker. And the recording method is a little bit different to what I normally use as well, because I'm using Procreate on an Apple iPad which is really good for the recording features because it's all automatic. It records all of your brush strokes. Sometimes that can be a bad thing though, but compared to usual, when I record in Photoshop, I'm recording my screen. So when I zoom in and zoom out on a detail, you can see exactly what I'm zooming in on. The way Procreate works is even if I was zoomed in and drawing, let's say a really sharp detail or really small detail on the eye, if I was spending a while working on that, from this zoomed out view that it records, you might not necessarily notice what I'm working on. So through certain parts of the video, it almost looks like I'm not doing anything for a couple of seconds, but I am, I'm just working zoomed in. So there is something happening. It's just not always as obvious. So yeah, I'm using a Gen 2 iPad Pro for this, and this is in Procreate. The recording feature is automatic. I do think it's really good. There are pros and cons to it, as mentioned. Also, instead of it actually recording your individual brush strokes, I think it actually picks up when you let go of the pen. So you wouldn't actually see the line being drawn. What you would see is the line appear, then the next line appear, then the next line appear. But because I work with such small lines, it still works and it still shows up all right. But that might be why it looks a little bit like it's stopping and starting in places. I'm still fairly new to using Procreate and Photoshop will still be my main program to use. But I do think Procreate is really cool, especially if you're working on the go, you've got it on the tablet. My, um, my Photoshop is set up with a Wacom tablet on my PC, a big desktop, so it's definitely good for traveling. I am very tempted to start making some Procreate tutorials as well and mixing those in. Um, so I'd be interested in hearing in the comments below if many of you guys are using Procreate or if you're more Photoshop users or what other program to use or if you're just working with traditional pencils. For those of you that do use Procreate and are curious about what I used in this, I think I actually used the HB Pencil for all of this. Maybe a soft round brush as well to add in some different colors to make him a little bit patchy with purples and pinks, but pretty much it's done in pencil. And when you're working with a tablet and an Apple pencil, you can actually turn the pencil on its side a little bit and get a different effects as well. So I didn't have loads of time to make a video this week, which is why I thought I would upload this just in case any of you guys enjoy this process. Because I was actually really pleased with the way it turned out. I mean, it started out as a really short, sort of quick sketch and I was only planning on spending maybe an hour on it or so. I ended up doing it over a couple of nights and I think I actually spent quite a few hours doing it. I thought it looked really simple with it being a cartoony, chibi, cutesy type dinosaur, which I don't normally draw that kind of thing. And I was surprised at how difficult it was or how long it took, but I was really, um, I was really happy with the way it turned out to be fair. So I'd definitely be interested in hearing in the comments below what you guys think to this. I'm always curious what videos you guys want to see in the future as well. Whether it's more digital art tutorials or how to draw tutorials or book reviews, please let me know. And as you've probably seen on screen, I do have my social media links up. I will put the links in the description box below as well for those that want to see more of my work. Thank you so much in advance to anyone that does already follow me on those pages. Anyway, there he is finished. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. And as always, make sure you subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching everyone.